The National Cowboy and Western Heritage Museum is putting together an outlaw man exhibit, but one artifact is really causing a stir. It's a purse with the name Bonnie Parker carved inside. News 9's Brittany Tulis explains how they're now working to see if that purse belongs to the notorious criminal. Bonnie and Clyde wreaked havoc on the region in the 1930s. They're suspected of robbing, kidnapping, and murdering, dying in a hail of gunfire in Louisiana. The donor says Bonnie had the purse when it happened. I'm walking that fine line between wanting to believe that yes, this is and knowing. Putting together an outlaw man exhibit, a donor gave the National Cowboy and Western Heritage Museum a purse believed to belong to Bonnie Parker of the famous crime duo Bonnie and Clyde. Now they're trying to back up the claim. We really need to have some kind of proof. There's just enough doubt there that it's interesting. You know, there's a bullet hole on it. So we're looking for that chain of evidence. To help find the truth about the artifact, the museum called in the help of UCO's forensic science experts to investigate. They started by swabbing for DNA. Exciting area to, to actually test would be inside the purse, in the bottom crevices. And then there are three little pockets that were sewn into the inside of the purse that I also swabbed. The next test is to look for fingerprints. There are clues leading historians to believe the purse did belong to Parker, as the crime scene was more of a free-for-all. And it was kind of, you know, mass souvenir hunting. You know, other things have sold online. There's mention of there being a purse in the car through several first-hand accounts, but it doesn't show up anywhere. Even though it has Bonnie's name inside. It's not necessarily that the owner did that, but that whoever then acquired it, for whatever reason, wants to put their name on that object. The fingerprinting is expected to be done in the coming weeks. The exhibit will open in November. At the National Cowboy and Western Heritage Museum, Brittany Tulis, Oklahoma's own News 9.